Hey everybody, it's Alan from Eagle Al's 57. We're coming from the inside of my house today. There you are. And I'm going to just show you some videos that we have from back in the early 90s. Uh, the stupid crap that we used to do. Um, we used to have those big ass uh, video camcorders that take the big VCR tape. That's what I got in here. I got some antique crap. So... Um, the videoing is not great, um, but I hope you guys like it. Uh, the first one that's going to be coming up is my buddy's 55 Chevy. Uh, he never burned rubber or anything at all. It's got a crate motor, uh, GM, um, that ZZ4 motor. Um, that's got in there. So he, he let me burn rubber with it. So what the hell? If he's going to let me do it, I'm going to take it. So here we go. He's yelling at me to get out of the car. <laughs> That's me in the driver's seat. That's in the back of a, I used to own a parts store, that's the back of the parts store. A little bit of rubber. He's picking it up. And then we go into my buddy's, uh, this is a 64 and a half Galaxy convertible. His father bought it brand new. It has the original 352 that's bored out to a 428 with a 428 cranker, so it's actually a 428. A little bit of smoke there. Once wasn't enough for him, so he's going to come back and do another one. All the your belt squeal a little bit. Let's kill them tires some more. Getting a little sideways here. Oh, he's got it now. Front wheels are cranked. <laughs> I'm dying from the smoke. <laughs> I'm not quite I'm not I don't remember which one's coming up next. But there's so much smoke coming out of the, from the inside of the trunk it's coming out of the seats. The tires are almost bald. They're coming out of the back of the seats right there. Right. Let's see what's next. Uh, this is the 57. We're doing some body work on it. Just got done stripping it with paint stripper. And I brought it to the guys next door. He let me use his back lot because it's all dirt. And I have a guy coming over to uh, sandblast it real lightly. The door jams and all that. That hood I didn't use. It was too effed up. Let's see where we're going next. Oh, here we go. Here's me in 57 sitting on a crate. See the crate? <laughs> Have to clean the plugs out a little bit. Ah, oh, 
guys. So. And then the next one there was yelling, is that all you got? <laughs> all right, hold on. I forgot two people I wanted to show you. This right here. That's the camera moving around, not me. This is Joe coming out here in the 67 Camaro. It's got my old 355 in it. Catch it by a half a car length. Next car coming up, 69 Camaro, big block, four speed. My buddy Dell uh, moved to Florida, don't see him anymore. Uh, we had a lot of fun together, great guy. He's on the outside over here. Dash car. There it is. That's it. All right, we're back. Uh, next one up is a buddy of mine. He's got a uh, Mustang. That's uh, got to be burning some rubber. That's Brian. Nice looking car. Well, here we are at the Lebanon Valley. We used to go there on Wednesday nights. Like all the uh, people that worked there knew us. Go there every Wednesday, just have a ball over there. This is my father's '67 Pontiac Le Mans, and this is this is yeah, this is my buddy Chris driving it. He doesn't know we took it to the racetrack. We took it to the racetrack, my father had no idea. And there's another guy, look, he's looking at us saying, oh my god, look at these clowns. Oh, he just ground. He was still rolling and put it in reverse and ground the gears. Are you going to do it now? Was that clutch slip? Uh, this is this guy, look. <laughs> they all knew us there, we had a blast. Now listen to this when he hits second I got gear. Baby going. Man, the tires grab real good there. I thought the rear end was gonna break. And watch the us. try and watch the tack oh, over here. Get ready. Oh my god, that was clutch for sure. Oh, he missed second gear, went up to 7,000 RPM. This is a stock 326 with a four barrel on it, with a four speed. And he zinged it, he missed second and zinged it right up to 7,000 RPMs. Told my father about 15 years later. There's one of the police officers from Ludlow, great guy. He used to go with us all the time. Oh, and there's my buddy Steve. If you watch my other videos, he's the one that's got this uh, the Camaro that blows up the motor while he's doing a burnout in his backyard. That big 632 cubic inch. Now this is this is back in the early 90s now. There's Mike again. Bunch of retards. Let's see if the thing jars like a mother. And do a little burnout thing. Nice, nice. Fair. Chris says fair. <laughs> Wise guy. Where's Tremble? Tremble's over there. There's Steve. He had a Pontiac Firebird back there. Tremble! And usually if I'm in a slow car, I don't care, I'm there just for fun. I'm going to leave on the first yellow. I'm leaving on the first yellow. Yeah, I'm out in front, but well, I'm not going to stay there much longer. There you go. Oh, 
goes. You don't have to have a fast car to have a lot of fun. Let me tell you, the slow cars I think are a lot funner than the fast cars because you can beat the hell out of them. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. Now this is Bob. If you watch my other uh, videos, he's the one that I bought the Malibu out of. That uh, got the big 540 in it. This has a 427 in it with the automatic. Watch the burnout this guy does. It's a stock 435 horse 427. It's gonna rev up. Woo! Bob won, won a lot of trophies drag racing. He's a very good drag racer. Nice. Oh, here's Steve Marino again with his uh, Pontiac. Just red lit, so he's all done for the day. Ah, there's the Pontiac. That's the old man's Pontiac. That was a fun car. One legger, you can burn rubber for forever. Good looking car. Tap the brakes in the end because I was in front. Now this is my buddy Joe with a 67 Camaro. He bought the motor out of my 57. That's a uh, 355 in there right now. Twelve sixty with a three fifty five cubic inch. The color is fifteen twenty two. That's blue light. He's on the brakes. He's on the gas brakes now. Nice. Here comes Bob again. He has no problem burning rubber, does he? Look at that. Nice job, Bob. Man, we had a lot of fun back there. Jeez. Oh, check this thing out. Forget about this thing. This thing used to go once in a while. This is a fast car. Don't forget, this is early 90s, so this thing's fast. Supercharged, mailbox, hood scoop on it. A 12, uh, excuse me, a 1024. That's fast back there. We've had people wired for sound as they go down the quarter mile after their red light start. Oh, there's Flying Ryan on the other side with his uh, Mustang. I haven't seen him in years. Let's 
coming up? Who's coming up? Hey, oh, there's Christopher with his galaxy. I think he's getting yelled at. Race of motorcycle. No helmet. Don't need a helmet if you're running slower than 14s. But I think he's got a 1395 on a window. I don't know, or 1390. Yeah. One time he did a burnout so bad, it shook the tire so bad, the chrome fell off the side of the car. The stainless piece fell right off. There he goes. Thirteen ninety out of thirteen ninety. Woo! All right, I think that's it for now. Let me shut that baby off. Well, guys, okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not the best thing going, but here, where are you? Let me get you over there. You are. Let me get in here like this. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be out in the garage soon. Um, I got some new parts for the fifty-seven. Um, I got that 454, just got done putting all the valve sp inner valve springs in, adjusting all the rockers. Um, so I'm going to take a video of that. That will be coming up for sale soon. And remember, burning rubber keeps you young. And do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button. I'm almost to that thousand mark. I think I got 935 subscribers. I think once I reach the thousand mark or just over the thousand, I will actually start making some money with my YouTube channel. I noticed that they're putting video um, ad, ad, advertisement on my uh, clips when you pop open. So somebody's making money, but it's not this guy. But if you guys help me out, this guy will be making money. So remember, burning rubber keeps you young. Thanks for watching, you guys. Once I start making money, I'm going to buy a better camera so things come out better. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm stuck with my junk here. And uh, appreciate all your, all your subscribers. Have a great day. Thanks.